So, Dad, how come the Little Top Circus isn't just a regular circus anymore? I don't want to scare you guys, but I heard a ghost and some alien vampires put them out of business. Come on, Dad, seriously. Why did they become a circus school? Seriously? I have no idea. But I know that when I was a little boy, their big star was Marsuvius the Magnificent, King of the Flying Trappies. They said he could practically fly around in the top of the circus tent. I'm glad they became a traveling circus school. I can't wait to learn the trapeze. Thanks, Dad. See you later. I thought you were going to soap opera acting school. I was, but the acting teachers all got the flu. So, yuck, I'm stuck coming here. But at least I have George to talk to instead of you. I want to be a strong man. George and Angela? Here with us all week? I doubt even George and Angela can ruin circus school, especially doing the trapeze and stuff. Step right up! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, the oldest circus in the country has arrived in your town! Here at the Little Top Circus School, you'll learn to ride a unicycle in a clown suit and juggle balls and flaming batons with Bippo the Clown! Ooh. Become a bearded lady like Meredith! Ooh. Or live on the edge on the flying trapeze with Murray the Magnificent! Ooh. So come on inside and we'll get you started! <laughs> okay, kid, riding a unicycle is twice as easy as riding a regular bike because you only have one wheel to worry about. <laughs> Can't I just skip the clown part and go straight to the trapeze? We know you used to be afraid of clowns, Charlie, but that was a long time ago. Anyway, this one's probably harmless. Yeah! Well, almost harmless. Hey, it's the trapeze guy, Murray the Magnificent. They're the bravest and most heroic people in the circus Whoa. world. Do we get to do the flying trapeze today? Uh, I, uh, trapeze training is canceled until tomorrow. Or, or the next day. Or later in the week. He didn't seem very brave or heroic for a trapeze guy. He actually looked kind of scared. Yeah, or worried. But, Murray, you have to teach. Uh, today isn't good for me. Murray, this isn't a performance. You just have to be up there with the kids. The safety net will be out. You can even wear one of those safety harnesses. <sighs> okay, maybe tomorrow I'll do it. You have to stop being haunted by the past. Gee, I can't believe it. Murray the Magnificent seems, well, a little chicken. Maybe. But Ringmaster Dave seems to think he's haunted by something. I bet there's a lot of ghosts at old circuses. And this one's the oldest circus in the country. I can't believe I missed soap opera school for this. No, 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 no! It's an art! You have to stumble over the shoes like this. Whoopsie! <laughs> See? Whoa! Hey, this is get out of the way! Get out of the way! <laughs> oh, Someone must have accidentally tripped on this extension cord. I don't think it was an accident. Do you really think there was a ghost up there? Yeah. An old-fashioned looking trapeze guy with a cape on. Cool! And that Murray, he definitely seems haunted by something. I hope he takes us up on the trapeze tomorrow. Ghosts and all! Mona. Mona. This must be where Murray lives. But what's that trailer there? It looks really old. Looks like no one has lived here in years. I wonder whose it was. Marsuvius the Magnificent. 
He must be the ghost I've been seeing. I am Marsupius, the king of the flying trapeze. The show must go on! Hey, you shouldn't go in that old trailer. It's not safe. So, no one lives in there? No, it's for storage. But it used to be the trailer of Marsuvius the Magnificent, Master of the Flying Trapeze. Now you kids get back to the main tent and no more wandering about. Now we know who the ghost is, but we don't know what he's doing here. And we don't know why Murray the Magnificent is too chicken to teach us the trapeze. And why did the ghost say the show must go on? Showbiz people always say that. Maybe we should talk to a few of the locals. Come in. <clears throat> Hi. What can I do for you kids? Well, we're kind of wondering why Murray won't teach us the trapeze. Ah, poor Murray. It's a long story. But when Murray was young, he had a teacher named Marsuvius. And when Marsuvius gave up the trapeze, he gave Murray a silver pendant. His good luck shot. This pendant will always bring you and the whole circus good luck. Not long ago, Murray lost the pendant. And that night, he almost fell off the trapeze. The fire department had to come and get him down. And Murray lost his nerve. He hasn't been back on the trapeze since. And he was our main attraction. So now we're just a circus school. But who knows how long that will last without Murray doing the trapeze. This is dumb. I don't want to. All oh, the kids in soap opera school do this. Really? You bet. He looks worried. Like he's seen a ghost. So, you're gonna take the kids up there today? I can't. I, um, I have a dental appointment. But tomorrow I'll take them up. I promise. Tomorrow's your last chance, Murray, or you're fired. You're sending this whole circus down the tubes. He must be really petrified. Imagine being more afraid of the trapeze than the dentist. We have to stop that ghost before he haunts Murray right out of this circus. He must be mad at Murray for losing that good luck charm. It's going to be a ghost trap. As soon as Murray goes up onto the trapeze, Marsuvius is going to haunt him. Then we'll distract him with this. Ghosts hate mirrors. And once he's distracted, we'll catch him with this. An, An envelope? envelope. It's a super strength, long distance airmail courier envelope. Once we get him inside, we just seal the top. A courier envelope? That's how they ship him if you order a ghost over the internet. Ghosts have no weight, no volume. They're ethereal entities. Everyone knows that. Oh, yeah. Right. <sighs> nice trapeze costumes. Uh, thanks. Are you going to teach us the flying trapeze today? Yeah. It's now or never. All right. The ghost will probably appear when Murray starts to go up. Uh, uh, I'll call you guys up in a few minutes. I, I just have to get the safety harnesses ready. Mirrors, check. Envelope, check. Uh-oh, he stopped. I hope he's OK. <laughs> Zatman, you go right. Princess Giant, you go left. We'll corner him. Your haunting of this circus is over, Marsuvius. <laughs> no one can stop Marsuvius the Magnificent. Oh, yeah? No! No mirrors! No! You don't understand. The show must go on. The only show for you is in this envelope. We got him! Let me out! Let me out! He's blocking the way! <gasps> no one can stop me! None of the vampire can! There! There! Huh? Oh! Now, the show can go on! Murray! Those kids are supposed to be wearing harnesses! Get up there! Must get 
up there. Must get up there. My fear of heights, it's gone. And you don't have to worry about the ghost anymore. Wow, I've been looking everywhere for this. Thanks. Don't thank me, thank the ghost of Marsuvius. He's been trying to get you back up here so you could find the good luck charm. Okay, trapeze class is in session. Yes! Whoa! Totally cool! Where's the envelope with Marsuvius in it? I don't know, but we'll have to find it and let him out. After all, he's one of the good ghosts. How come we don't get to go up on the trapeze? Murray heard you say he was a has-been. Thanks, Kitty. Hey, guys! Check this out! Yes! Still life! Want to give it a try? It's a little while to get used to the controls. I'm going to help my Uncle Gus with the bowling tournament this weekend. I haven't heard anything about a bowling tournament. Everyone is in it. Come on over there and see me. It's going to be fun. That must be Wilson Rollins, Winnebago. Wilson Rollins? Yeah, he's probably the most famous bowler in the world. And he comes from our town. He left here when he turned pro. They say he hasn't lost a tournament in 15 years. He is the best bowler in the world. Did you guys see that? He's got something creepy living in his bag. You mean like dirty gym socks? No, it was something strange. We better keep an eye on him. I just have to check in with Uncle Gus. Hey, Officer Howcroft. I didn't know you liked bowling. Well, I love it. And it certainly helps when you're on a roll like this. There was a time when I thought I would turn pro. So what happened? Well, it didn't quite work out. But if Nellie and I do a lot of practicing, we might just win this tournament. Who's Nellie? My ball, of course. With Nellie by my side, I can never lose. What's up with those two? I have a feeling they don't like each other. Something in my eye. Or saw something strange. <laughs> hey, Charlie, can you see if that ketchup shipment has come in? I hope I ordered enough. I think we'll be okay. Looks like you added an extra zero again. <laughs> I'm always doing that. Here you go, girls, on the house. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, hey, Uncle Gus, why don't Officer Howcroft and Rollins get along? Oh, that goes a long way back. A long way. You see, Officer Halcroft and Rollins were always big competitors. But Officer Halcroft was always a little bit better. Until the day of the big tournament. That's when people say Halcroft got cursed. The ball return malfunctioned and his favorite ball got stuck. He was forced to continue with another ball. And it threw him off. His ball eventually came back, but the game was over. Halcroft always suspected Rollins was to blame, but he could never prove it. Poor Officer Halcroft. Some say that's why he became a cop, to fight injustice. Hey, I guess the usual. Five corn dogs and two strawberry super slushos with extra syrup. Coming right up. I love that junk food. Gives me energy. Well, got a mosey. They have to think he used to be the guy who fixed the machinery around here. 
That's a lot of junk food for a skinny guy like him. Hmm. I wish there was a way to... Uncle Gus, can I borrow your camera? I'm telling you guys, no one can eat that many corn dogs and slushos and be that skinny. Yeah, what can I do for you? Mr. Rollins, oh, we're from Bowling Heroes Weekly Magazine, and we were wondering if we could trouble you for an interview? Aren't you guys a little young to be journalists? Uh, uh, budget cutbacks? <laughs> well, I never could turn down an opportunity for an interview. Come on in. So, what issue will this be in? Will I get my picture on the cover? Um, yeah, the cover and posters. It'll be a double-sized issue. Oops, I forgot my jacket in the bowling alley. I want to wear it for that cover photo. Be right back. So now what? I don't know, but this place is a mess. Hey! Hey, what's going on here? That's it. Interview is over. Sorry, the stuff just fell. Ow! What are all these tools for? None of your business. Out! Well, one thing's for sure. Rollins has gremlins. Gremlins? That's what that was? Yep, I saw the little creeps. He must be using the junk food to control them. But why would he have gremlins? I don't know. But I have a feeling we're gonna find out tomorrow. Welcome to the bowling tournament. The bowlers with the highest scores play in the finals. Congratulations to Wilson Rollins and Officer Halcroft, our two finalists. It's you and me in the finals. Think you can beat me this time? <laughs> hmm. Looks like a little electrical problem with the ball return. Well, I'll check it out before tomorrow. Electrical problem, my eye. It's those gremlins again. I bet they're using those tools we saw with Rollins to sabotage the bowling lanes. Of course. It all makes sense. Gremlins love machinery. We've got to do something. But what? Hey, it's Officer Halcroft with a 12-pack of donuts. Everything okay, Officer Halcroft? Mm -hmm. I don't think I can beat that tricky Rollins. Even with Nellie by my side. Of course you can. Rollins may have cheated you before, but you can't let him push you around. This is your chance to show people everywhere that they should never quit. Yeah, do it for them. Yeah, you're right. Justice shall prevail. Come on, Nellie. See you kids at the finals tomorrow. So, how are we going to stop those gremlins? <sighs> I don't know yet, but tomorrow we'll be ready for anything. I hope. Yes! Enjoy it while you can, because it's not gonna last. <laughs> Nelly, my ball is gone! Sorry, Chief. You'll just have to use another ball until I find it. The official rules state that there's no stopping. Probably a little electrical problem. Come on, Charlie, let's check it out. You should just give up and go back to the old cop life. It's safer than going up against Wilson Rollins. Uh... Don't worry, Officer Halcroft. We'll get Nellie back for you. What are we going to do? I'm not sure. Some gremlins hate water, and others multiply when they get wet. And then some like light, and others don't. I think I have an idea. You go with Satman. I'll catch up. What do we have here? Hmm. That's odd. It's from this ball return. I'll just fix this up. We have to hurry. 
Sorry, Officer Halcroft isn't doing very well without Nelly. There they are! <laughs> Give us Nelly or else! They must have climbed up from the inside. Then we'll climb. Stand back, everyone. If Rollins can control the gremlins with junk food, why can't we? Great thinking, Princess Giant. Watch out! A few more corn dogs to keep these guys busy for the rest of the bowling match. And mission accomplished. After the game, we'll have to find these gremlins a new home. I think I got it all working again. Nelly! Come back time. Officer Hellcroft! Yeah! 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 Officer Hellcroft! Congratulations, Chief. I have a feeling Rollins must have snuck in at night and tampered with the machinery. I found this. I knew it. He is a cheater. No matter. You won fair and square. That's what counts. And I'll make sure he gets kicked out of the bowling league. Well, thanks for all the support, kids. All in a day's work for Mona the Vampire. Zap Man and Princess Giant. Come on, Nelly. Time to go home. Hope you like your new home. Gus orders enough extra food to keep you full all year round. I sure hope you like ketchup. <laughs> <laughs>